Hello, this is Nightmar, the best miner in all of the world. In this video, I'm going to show you the differences between overclocking your GPU, having it at default settings, and underclocking your GPU. I'm going to try to explain to you why, in my opinion, I believe that underclocking your GPU is actually the best way to mine cryptocurrency. A lot of people believe that if you overclock your GPU, you're going to make a lot more money than if you just have it default settings. But I actually believe that underclocking, yes, underclocking your GPU is going to make you more money over the long run. Now, how is that possible? Well, I'm about to show you how. Yeah, right now, the total assets that I have is 0.00065247 Bitcoin, which is about like $40 worth of Bitcoin. I've already mined 0 0.001 Bitcoin, which is worth about $60 Bitcoin. So I've already mined about $100 of Bitcoin. And I've already transferred out the 0 0.001 to my main wallet that I use. So I've mined $100 of Bitcoin. It's taken me two months to do it. But yeah, I'm just a normal person with a normal computer. I'm not a professional miner or anything. I just took what I learned by myself and applied it to my mining strategies. For my single computer and my single graphics card. Nothing special. So I've made $100 in Bitcoin. In about two months. My graphics card I'm using right now. Is only like a $180 graphics card. So after about another two months. I would have made a $20 profit. Then my graphics card blows up. I wouldn't really care all that much. Because I would have profited off of it. So as you can see. I have an AMD graphics card. So I have a Radeon RX 5500 XT graphics card. Like I said before, it costs like 180 bucks to buy it. Nothing special. It's really cheap. The reason why I bought such a cheap graphics card is because I actually bought a GTX 1080 like four years ago. Right here. This is a GeForce GTX 1080. This bad boy cost me like 700 bucks to buy. And all I did with this is play League of Legends. Go look at my YouTube channel. My past videos, all I did in the past was play League of Legends like non-stop. All day, every day. And after about three years of playing League of Legends, this GTX 1080 blew up. It like fried itself. The whole screen went black. And I realized the graphics card was crap because I bought a new one. Put it into my computer and it worked just fine. That's cost me 700 bucks and blew up. Never overclocked it, never underclocked it, never touched it. And all I did is play League of Legends. It's like the least graphic intensive game there is. Like how the heck did this thing blow up? See, after that occurred, it inspired me to buy a cheaper graphics card. Because why would I pay for an expensive one if it's going to blow up anyway? I also wanted to learn how to make money off of my graphics card. In case if it does blow up, I won't care because I would have made money off of it. So I discovered crypto mining. So now you can make money off having your graphics card run. And do this mining and stuff. So right now, as you can see, for my tuning control for AMD, this is their own user interface that they have for AMD graphics cards. You just go to performance, then you go to tuning, you can change your graphics card. Really simple with AMD. With GeForce, you can't do that. You have to download someone else's software to change the graphics card. See, I like AMD graphics cards a lot more than GeForce, just for this reason. Because they have their own overclocking, underclocking software. So yeah, right now, my graphics card is actually currently underclocked. So now let's go ahead and show you what happens if you overclock your GPU... Or if you have default settings, or if you underclock your GPU and you mine cryptocurrency. So things you want to watch when you're mining is your current temperature of your graphics card. So right now my temperature is 38 degrees Celsius. Well, I guess like 36 degrees Celsius. I say the bigger number that it says, 38 degrees Celsius, right here. So you want to watch that number at all times. You don't want to overheat your graphics card because that's bad for graphics card, obviously. You want to keep it under like. 80, I think, or 85. I'm not an expert. That's what I do. So you want to watch that number. Another number to watch when you're mining Bitcoin or anything is to watch your 
power consumption. Right now I'm consuming 20 watts of power, not doing anything at all, just recording this video. And then you want to watch your mining hash rate when you're actually mining. So those are the three most important numbers to watch. Your temperature, your power consumption, and then your hash rate. That's really all that matters. So you want to have the highest hash rate that consume the lowest amount of power as possible. And try and maintain a decent GPU temperature. So right here is nice hash. In order to mine cryptocurrency, you just hit the play button and it starts mining. It's simple as that. So first things first, let's start off mining with default settings. No overclock, no underclock, just default. So let's go to automatic, click on default, boom. We're at default settings right now for the graphics card. As simple as that. That's how AMD works. So now let's pull up nice hash. Let's start mining cryptocurrency. So all I do is hit the play button. As you can see, we have voltage, power consumption, clock speed, temperature, all right here in one place. Hit the play button, start mining. So this little thing pops up. It does its stuff. Now watch that power consumption start to go up. See that right there? I'm from 30 up to 80. So right now I'm consuming 81 watts of power. And most of these things on this little page it shows you your hash rate after a while. So let's wait for it to say a hash rate. And also watch the temperatures of the graphics card. Right now it says 65 for my highest temperature. Power consumption 94. It's starting to use a lot more power. So right here with this current thing I'm using, in order to get your hash rate, you have to press the H button. As you can see right here, every single program is different. So let's go ahead and press H to get the hash rate. So it says my current hash rate is 22.41 mH per second. You want to get that number as high as possible. This graphics card is super cheap. You can probably get a higher score than I can. But I'm using what I have to work with. And right there it says 22.59. So it's around 22.5. See, my temperature's at 71 degrees Celsius for juncture. I just take the highest temperature it says on my screen. 93 watts of power. So let's write that down. So 94 watts, and then 72 degrees Celsius, and 22.5 mH per second for hash rate. So watts, degrees, hash rate. That's heating up a bit now because it's been on for longer. So 74 degrees Celsius. Just write down 75 for that. So this is with my normal settings. This is normal graphics settings. Graphics card settings. So now let's stop mining. Watch power consumption drop way down back to 20 watts. Watch temperature drop off super fast. Right now I'm mining no cryptocurrency. Now let's overclock. Now let's go ahead and overclock the GPU. So let's just say overclock GPU. And it says overclocking is invasive process, blah, 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 blah. Proceed. So now my GPU is overclocked, 1950. See, a lot of people probably hit that button. I think it's overclocked. So let's go ahead and mine cryptocurrency again with an overclock setting for AMD. Okay, so I had it running for a bit. So let's go ahead and hit the H button. Look at that, it's still 22.5 mH per second. Consuming 95 watts of power. 95 watts. 75 degrees Celsius still. And still 22.5 mH per second. See, after using their default overclock settings that they have, Power consumption stayed the same. Degrees stayed the same, pretty much. And look at that. MH per second stayed the same. Pretty much everything stayed exactly the same. Everything. Nothing changed. Actually, right now, the temperature is going up a bit. Power consumption is going up a bit. 
so after having it run for a couple of minutes, it's consuming more power. And the temperature is getting hotter because it's overclocked. But it's still producing the same hash rate. All I care about is hash rate. So I'm consuming more power. The GPU is hotter. What am I getting out of it? Nothing. The hash rate is still the same. So now let's go ahead and go to manual. Let's underclock the GPU the way that I've been doing it. This is the best possible way to mine cryptocurrency, in my opinion. With my current graphics card. Every graphics card is different. Yours might be different. So yeah, let's go ahead and underclock this graphics card. So right now the max frequency is 0%. Same as it's not overclocked, not underclocked. So now it's underclocked at 40%. I heard that right. I'm underclocking the GPU 40%. Supply changes. Now let's turn on advanced control. Go to fine tuning. I like to set my voltage right here to 850 for this. That's what I've been doing for a while. So right now the max frequency is 1140. Usually it's way higher than that. It's underclocked 40%. So now let's go ahead and mine cryptocurrency with these settings. Size underclocks my GPU. Look at that. This is a drastic, drastic difference after underclocking my GPU. Look at my power consumption. I'm only consuming 59 watts of power. Because if you overclock your GPU, you can only overclock it like 5% or 10%. But if you underclock it, you can massively underclock it. So I underclock mine about 40%. So I'm only consuming 59 watts of power compared to 94 watts, which showed up during the normal mining. And I also look at this. The GPU temperature is way lower, 62 degrees Celsius. So not only, so not only am I using less power, but I'm also keeping my GPU nice and cool. Now it's 63. Now what about the hash rate? Let's go over here. Click on H. Look at that. Look at that, guys. My hash rate actually went up. It went up. Hit H. It's 23.4 mh per second. It's less power consumption, cooler graphics card, and a higher hash rate. So let's go ahead and take 59 watts divided by, let's just say 94 watts. I'm using 62% of the power. What does this mean? Well, if you take 62% of the power times 5, that's like 300%. So this means I can run five graphics cards with the same amount of power as somebody else can only run three graphics cards with. So by underclocking my graphics card this much, I can have five graphics cards with the same amount of power that someone else uses with three graphics cards. This is what keeps your energy bill nice and low, underclocking. Keeps your energy bill very low. So you lose less money while mining cryptocurrency. Also, the temperature is way lower, which is better for your graphics card. And also, the hash rate went up, which means you get more money. So you win, win, win. With underclocking, all you do is win. With overclocking, all you do is lose. The overclocking gave me no gains at all. It used slightly more watts for power. The temperature went up slightly, but the hash rate was the same as normal. So yeah guys, underclocking is king, overclocking is what noobs do. It just sounds cool, but it's really bad. Now if you're going to overclock for mining, you don't change your GPU tuning. The tuning you change is the VRAM tuning. If I up my VRAM tuning by 5%, my hash rate would probably go up 
you overclock the VRAM, you don't overclock the GPU. The GPU does absolutely nothing for mining, pretty much. If you underclock it like 70%, then your numbers might start dropping a lot. But if you underclock it 40%, it doesn't change your numbers. VRAM is what changes your mining numbers, mostly. So if you want to mine cryptocurrency faster, you overclock the VRAM. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Underclock your GPU. Save energy. Stay green. Stop global warming. Subscribe. Earn your Bitcoin by mining.